हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन टूडेज लेक्चर वी विल स्टडी अबाउट द हैंडलिंग लोड्स ड्यूरिंग वेरियस क्रेन ऑपरेशन वी विल स्टडी अबाउट द इनर्शिया लोड एक्टिंग ऑन द ऑब्जेक्ट ड्यूरिंग क्रेन ऑपरेशन एंड वी विल अंडरस्टैंड वाई देर इज ए नीड ऑफ द काउंटर वेट तो लेट्स स्टार्ट अवर लेक्चर द क्रेन इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू इज बेसिकली ए क्रॉलर क्रेन and these crane are basically the machines that are being designed to lift heavy loads and they do the operation basically hoisting boom up boom down and swinging operation these are the basic operation and if you we talk about the crawler crane then they can pick and carry they basically do the marching also okay so this crane are designed to lift heavy loads and they does the operation hoisting boom up boom down and swinging so we will analyze what are the load calculation what are the inertia effect on this uh, crane तो लेट अस कंसीडर एन एग्जांपल इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू दिस इज बेसिकली द क्रॉलर क्रेन दिस इज बेसिकली सेंटर कार बॉडी ऑफ द क्रेन एंड इट इज द क्रॉलर इट इज द बूम ओके एंड देयर आर बेसिकली टू विंच इज आर देयर वन विंच एंड सेकेंड विंच वन विंच कंट्रोल द मूवमेंट अप एंड डाउन ऑफ द लोड एंड द अदर विंच कंट्रोल द बूम मूवमेंट ओके this is simple and this is the counter weight दिस इज जनरल आइडिया अबाउट ओके नाउ वी विल अंडरस्टैंड इट्स इन इन डिटेल तो बेसिकली दिस इज द क्रॉल क्रेन इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू अब नाउ एवरी पार्ट ऑफ द क्रेन बेसिकली द क्रेन इज असेंबल्ड दीज क्रॉल क्रेन आर बेसिकली असेंबल्ड एंड एवरी पार्ट इज हैविंग इट्स सी ओ जी हैविंग इट्स ओन वेट ओके दिस इज बेसिकली द बूम ओके दिस इज बेसिकली द बूम दिस बूम इज हैविंग वेट डब्ल्यू वन इट इज एक्टिंग एट इट्स सी ओ जी ओके सिमिलरली दिस कैरिएज और द सेंट्रल कार बॉडी इज ऑल्सो हैविंग सम Uh, basically weight and it is w3 and it is acting at its center of gravity similarly the crawler part also have weight that will be acting at w2 now apart from all these weight there is a slew center slew slew point is there the slew point is basically over here is just uh, near this uh, crawler point there is a slew point okay it is you can say that it is a combined slew point is basically the combined cog of all this equipment combined together this slew point okay in when we are just only lifting up we are just only lifting up then this slew point is uh, here only but when we try to march or we increase the load radius load radius means the boom length is down okay that you are increasing the load radius so this slew point if uh, i show you this is the slew point if i show you with the white color then it will be good this slew, slew point will shift from the this center towards the this point okay and once this slew point is uh, slew point is out of this central car body then the crane will tip uh, tip tipping of the crane will be done or there will be a major accident so the slew point is maximum up to the car body part uh, to up to the front it never goes out of the car body okay you understand so these are basically the simple funda over here and uh, they are basically one winch system is there uh, that basically uh hoist winch line up when there is lifting you have to lift it up so this winch line there are number of wire ropes and it is it is connected to a winch this winch will act as a hoist hoist winch line and there is another uh, when you want to decrease the boom or uh, increase uh, down the boom up the boom there is another winch that controls okay so there are two lines are over there so this is simple funda over here okay it is clear to everyone now what now we will do the analysis what are the forces that are basically acting on it okay uh this boom this boom undergoes the compression uh, already we have uh, understand in the last lecture how a wind system work there is a reaction mechanism in the reaction mechanism one part is going compression and the other part is going the bending if you want to understand it then see the last lecture this boom is undergoing the compression okay these wind system is undergoing the tension it is a simple over there so there is no problem boom is in compression and this uh, Uh, boom uh, this is in tension the wire ropes is tension and the slew slew center moves outward at the time of lifting slew center starts moving outward so okay this is a simple now the, if something there is a effect of inertia we just start lifting object theek okay? hai currently we are not lifting any load from it and we just uh, using some slinge okay and using two slinge we are i am li i started lifting so there is a sudden inertia effect over there ओके तो देर इज ए एनर्जी एफेक्ट वी विल अंडरस्टैंड अबाउट द एनर्जी एफेक्ट तो वैन वी जस्ट स्टार्ट हॉस्टिंग ऑपरेशन इफ यू इफ यू गो इन ए 
lift when the lift is moving uh, moving up then your weight seems to be increased if you have done such questions in class 12th mechanics basically okay the apparent weight concept is there the weight apparent weight is somehow either more or either less because of the because of the concept of inertia so here when inertia load you hoist, hoist operation when we are lifting it up then the gravity opposes the motion then the apparent weight comes out to be w g plus a but when we are lowering up the load the inertia effect the apparent weight comes out to be w g minus a at the time of lowering the weight seems to be less but at the time of lifting up the weight seems to be more so this is simple concept okay now we will understand uh, about uh, how this inertia effect play uh, its role or basically whether we have to consider this inertia effect and what percentage is basically the acceleration due to this inertia there is some acceleration as object is moving up then there is some acceleration or deceleration uh, basically acceleration when it is moving now there is also acceleration so what affect this inertia producing on this body okay so now winch machine if we just have an if simple idea uh, the winch machine the winch is basically lifting up the object so we are considering that hoist winch line we are considering it up and it is lifting up a object okay now the rope wind uh, we are taking a simple example okay the rope winding speed the rate at which the rope is winding on to the winch the same rate it is releasing from the winch if it is lifting up then it is winding up currently the rope is all down when you start winding up then it is start lifting up okay the rope winding speed is basically winding speed is 180 meter per minute okay if it has part line suppose in this machine the number of part lines are 15 okay if you doesn't know about the part line then see my previous video you will understand number of part line 15 then average basically the uh, if you or the object will be lifted using uh, these 15 part line the average velocity comes out to be basically 180 meter per minute is the speed the average velocity for these 15 part line combined together that is 12 meter per minute 180 divided by 15 is 12 meter per minute if we convert it into meter per second then 0.2 meter per second it is clear now uh, what a basically acceleration acceleration is velocity divided by time suppose when we start lifting up okay in order to achieve a proper acceleration the response time from the jhatka lagna to the start lifting up the response time is basically uh, 5 second then the acceleration is 0 0.2 divided by 0 0.05 uh, 0 0.2 divided by 5 these are we are taking a standard example or our data has been taken uh, using the manual so you doesn't have to worry about it the acceleration comes out to be 0 0.04 0 0.04 meter per second square okay if we compare this acceleration in comparison to the acceleration due to gravity then acceleration due to gravity is 9.81 it means that acceleration due to gravity g is almost 250 times the acceleration this acceleration that is being produced due to the inertia effect okay inertia acceleration or the inertia load that is produced so we can basically we can generally neglect this because it is very less the acceleration due to the inertia acceleration or the load due to inertial effect is basically very less okay so we can if uh, uh, neglect this okay so the inertia effect we can neglect for the hoist operation now similarly there is a boom up or boom down the same funda is applied boom down max when the boom down is maximum the load radius will be maximum so again we uh, again when we calculated then this oscillation seems uh, to be very less okay so the at the time of lifting or at the time of movement of the boom the inertia effect are there but they are very less as compared to the acceleration due to gravity or g minus a or g minus a g plus a have a very limited uh, value because it is seems to be g is 250 times or uh, more than 200 times more than this uh, acceleration that is being produced due to inertial effect okay so now now boom down max now inertia up when the low it's currently the crane is stable now it is start moving in this direction so when something start there is a jerk there is a inertia because the moment the load is initially at rest now it is start moving so there will be some inertial effect over there okay due to this inertial effect this load will start oscillating like a pendulum okay this load will start oscillating like a pendulum it start that's why we use tag line in order to reduce this lateral load because the because of this sudden jerk they it starts inertial effect is there okay 
तो वी हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट हाउ दे हाउ वेदर दिस इनर्शियल इफेक्ट ड्यू टू क्रॉलर मूवमेंट और क्रॉलर मार्च मार्चिंग वॉट एग्जैक्टली इट इज तो जनरली वेन द क्रेन मार्च द मैक्सिमम वेलिसिटी आई हैव गोन थ्रू द बुक्स और द मैनुअल्स बेसिकली जनरल क्रॉलर केन कैन मूव अप टू अ मैक्सिमम वेलिसिटी ऑफ सिक्स हंड्रेड मीटर पर आवर इट कैन मूव अप टू दिस वेलिसिटी मैक्सिमम सिक्स हंड्रेड मीटर पर आवर ओके नाउ द रिस्पॉन्स टाइम टेकन फॉर दिस इज ऑलमोस्ट वन मिनट ऑलमोस्ट सिक्स हंड्रेड मीटर पर आवर तो वी आर कन्वर्टिंग इन टू द रिस्पॉन्स टाइम इफ वेलोसिटी वी नो सिक्स हंड्रेड मीटर पर आवर वी इफ अचीविंग दिस वेलोसिटी इट टेक्स अराउंड वन मिनट इफ यू वॉन्ट टू कन्वर्ट इट इन टू द सेकेंड्स दैन इट कम्स आउट टू बी सिक्स हंड्रेड डिवाइड बाई थ्री सिक्स जीरो जीरो वन मिनट इज सिक्सटी मिनट सिक्सटी सेकेंड सिंपल था फंडा इज ओवर देर ओके तो इट कम्स आउट टू बी जीरो पॉइंट वन सेवन मीटर पर सेकेंड स्क्वायर तो द सडन असलरेशन ड्यू टू मार्चिंग ऑफ द क्रॉलर केन इज जीरो पॉइंट वन सेवन मीटर पर स्क्वायर ड्यू टू दिस सडन असलरेशन द लोड कम्स आउट टू बी इज बेसिकली द असलरेशन ए बाई जी द परसेंटेज द लोड इज बेसिकली इफ यू वॉन्ट टू अनर्शिया इफेक्ट इफ यू वॉन्ट टू कैलकुलेट द वॉट परसेंटेज यू डू वेट दिस लोड एनर्शियल लोड कम्स आउट टू बी जीरो पॉइंट वन सेवन डिवाइड बाई नाइन पॉइंट एट वन इन टू हंड्रेड टू परसेंट एक्स्ट्रा लोड इज कमिंग ऑन द ऑब्जेक्ट अंडरस्टैंड दिस सपोज दिस क्रेन इज एट रेस्ट ओके फ्रॉम द रेस्ट इज स्टार्ट मूविंग इन दिस डायरेक्शन then there the load extra load that is coming that lateral load is coming uh, i have again clearly then it will be more understandable okay this is the object okay as you start moving marching you start marching of this screen so there is a sudden lateral load coming on this this side and this side this load is 2% extra of its weight 2% of its weight basically uh, whatever the weight it is having it is having 2% of its force force basically mass into acceleration mass into g g ka kitna 2% iska acceleration lag raha hai that starts um, shifting the load lateral so we can't ignore that so in order to reduce this uh, due to marching we generally have, uh, have tag line theek hai we generally have tag line so that two persons keeps on supporting it if it goes either that they start pulling it up okay so this is the funda over here so this is basically lateral load on the object is 2% due to the inertia effect okay it is simple okay now this 2% when the crane start marching the it, there is a lateral side shift over there so due to this lateral side shift the operating radius is also increasing so the operating radius is also increase by 2% if the operating radius previous is 50 now 0.2 into 50 1 meter okay the operating radius comes out to be 50 1 meter now we, if we want to lift something and uh, the radius we are considering 50 meter we if we take into consideration the amount of this lateral shift so we have to add extra uh, 2% of the radius okay if, the, if it is 50 meter so we have to calculate for 51 meter or 52 meter okay in this way we can uh clear now okay now this the inertial effect we already calculate about now how this system works okay in this lecture we will understand about the inertial load we will understand about everything now we will understand how this moment it basically kirin is just based on the principle of lever so if there is some point of fulcrum or the point or the tipping point then the net moment about uh, there is some fulcrum point the net movement about this fulcrum point is zero it is a simple funda when the crane is not just lifting up at every position there is a equilibrium okay so this is the slew center okay this is already the uh, this kya kehte hai isko collar collar body Uh, uh, center of mass and this is basically the uh, car body center of mass this is the boom and uh, in this figure we have shown boom weight is w is acting at this side theek hai uh, car body weight is acting as w through this side the slew center is over there the slew center is just uh, is little different distance from the w2 uh, this w2 weight okay so this is the simple diagrammatic representation this data about where are the cg of you can have from the manual okay already the design purpose uh, the designers used all this data okay so the, you can have from the manual so this weight w2 the uh, this uh, uh, crawler weight w2 is acting at a x1 distance from the slew center this boom length we are taking the reference point as the slew point okay this is the slew point 
फ्रॉम विस स्लो पॉइंट वी विल कैलकुलेट अबाउट द नेट मूवमेंट दिस साइड एंड नेट मूवमेंट दिस साइड ओके द नेट मूवमेंट अबाउट द स्लो पॉइंट विल बी इक्वल टू जीरो ओके तो दिस बूम दिस बूम इज हैविंग वेट डब्ल्यू वन एंड एक्टिंग एट एक्स वन तो दिस विल ट्राई टू टिल्ट इट लाइक दिस तो डब्ल्यू इन टू डब्ल्यू वन इन टू एक्स वन ओके नाउ दिस वेट इज हैविंग दिस द लो डेट वी लिफ्टिंग हैविंग वेट डब्ल्यू एंड इट इज एक्टिंग एट ए ऑपरेटिंग डेज आर फ्रॉम द स्लू पॉइंट तो द इट विल ऑल्सो ट्राई टू टिल्ट इट इन दिस डायरेक्शन तो डब्ल्यू इन टू आर एनी थिंग अदर डेट डेट ट्राई टू टिल्ट इट नो द अदर पार्ट डेट विल ट्राई टू टिल्ट इज अपोजिट डायरेक्शन इन दिस डायरेक्शन ओनली द वेट डब्ल्यू टू इज एट ए डिस्टेंस एक्स टू वेट इज वेरी माइन्यू डिस्टेंस ओके डब्ल्यू टू इंटू एक्स टू नाउ द दिस कैरियज वेट इज डब्ल्यू थ्री इंटू एक्स थ्री नाउ दिस इज ऑल्सो इफ इट इज सिंपल तो दिस इज अ टिपिंग पॉइंट ओके दिस दिस लू सेंटर मस्ट नॉट रीच अप टू दिस पॉइंट अदरवाइज द ट्रेन विल टिप इट अप ओके तो इन दिस वे द नेट मूवमेंट वी आर इक्विटिंग नाउ द हाउ द नेट मूवमेंट वी आर इक्विटिंग इज डब्ल्यू इन टू आर प्लस डब्ल्यू वन इन टू एक्स वन बराबर डब्ल्यू टू इन टू एक्स टू प्लस डब्ल्यू थ्री इन टू एक्स थ्री ओके नाउ दिस साइड द वी कीप ऑन इंक्रीजिंग द ऑपरेटिंग रेडियस ओके एंड डब्ल्यू वन इन टू एक्स वन इज बेसिकली बूम लेंथ इज ऑल्सो कीप ऑन चेंजिंग एज यू मूव द बूम डाउन तो हाउ वी कैन इंक्रीज दिस होल फिगर इज इंक्रीजिंग तो वॉट वी कैन डू वी कैन जस्ट एट सम वेट एक्स्ट्रा वेट सो दैट दिस मूवमेंट बेलेंस दिस मूवमेंट एंड दैट एट एट दैट टाइम द इफेक्ट ऑफ द काउंटर वेट और द काउंटर वेट कम्स इन टू पिक्चर बाई यूजिंग द काउंटर वेट वी कैन इंक्रीज द कैपेसिटी ऑफ द क्रेन ओके इट्स स्टेबिलिटी वी इंक्रीज ओके इन द नेक्स्ट लेक्चर वी विल अंडरस्टैंड मोर इन डिटेल्स होप यू लाइक दिस वीडियो कीप सपोर्ट एंड सब्सक्राइब थैंक यू